People are tired of sacrificing their families on the altar of the faceless corporations they work for. Some time ago, I heard a man speak to over a thousand businessmen here in our city. He was a decorated, retired military officer. Later, he went on to serve at a very high level of a large company. He was a man with everything, athletic, fit, but he spoke of himself as a pauper, begging to have the last 30 years of his life to live over again. He related to us about his 14-hour days and his incessant travel. He spoke of his numerous business accomplishments and the prices he'd paid for the successes he'd had. But when he spoke of his family, he started weeping uncontrollably. The years of neglect, the vacations they never spent, the ball games and the piano recitals he said that he missed, and all the other little things that were never done because of a job that demanded all the hours that he wanted back. And he said, one night, after an extended business trip, my only remaining child at home came into my bedroom. And she looked up at me, and I could tell immediately she'd been crying. She said, Daddy, do you know what I think about all your big deals? Big deal. And she turned, and she walked away from me. And I said, God, whatever it takes, please help me rebuild my life with that precious little girl. All the best hours of day after day after day, just to do the bidding of a company that could care less about us, a company that will pitch us off like a cheap suit and toss us in the garbage along with all the other cast-off stuff. A young friend of mine told me recently, I'm only working half days now, 7 to 7. I first met Bill when he was about 23. He was just graduated from college, full of enthusiasm, ready to make his fortune. Now he's 31. He's married, two small children, working long hours with a shirt and tie on, as he says. He said, I'm trying to get to a place I don't even want to go. I'm typical corporate America, he said. I feel like a rat on a treadmill. I don't even have time to look at my kids. I feel like I'm caught in a rundown between first and second base. And it's just a matter of time before I get tagged out. I know lots of single moms and single dads who feel the same way, the same kind of pressure. they got two jobs to support their growing kids and one car. And just when you think nothing else can possibly go wrong... You need a new clutch or something, and you have to hope you can round up the money to pay for it by the time the work gets done. You've got no time to yourself whatsoever, pressure every hour of the day. Drop your kids off in the morning in the arms of strangers. You pick them up in the afternoon and put them in the back seat like a bag of groceries. First steps go to other people. First words go to other people. Everybody flop into bed at night, dog tired from shopping and cooking and homework and cleaning up. This is the way it is with a lot of people I know. And there are a lot of people out there that like to escape this way of life. Bill told me that when his kids get a little older, he wants to be able to go to all their ball games and be able to practice with them in the backyard whenever he wants to, but he can't do that now. And others of you say your companies are cutting your territory. That's because you're making too much money for somebody your age. That's nonsense. And they're cutting your commissions, too, and they say they're making some of your better customers into house accounts so they can give them more personal attention, they say. That's a lie. And you know it's a lie. It's a lie. These companies want to rent us out like a prom dress. They get as much out of us as they can for as little as they can, and then they get rid of us like a bad habit as soon as they can find somebody to do work cheaper. They programmed us to believe that they'll give us security. But everybody knows that's a lie. And until we realize what we really want is freedom, then we'll always be disappointed when our jobs let us down. They don't give us the fulfillment or the pay or the flexibility that we deserve to have a shot at before we get too old to take a shot. Our companies pay us off with image and business cards and expensive desks they let us sit behind and fancy titles and crummy little perks they give us, and we allow ourselves to be lashed to the rack of these meat-grinding companies. They're killing us with their little table scraps of a paycheck and their so-called security. They pay their people just enough so they don't quit, and people work just hard enough so they don't get fired. That's no good, and that is no way to live. And we obediently sit up, we do tricks, work late, beg, roll over like a whipped dog laughing after a bone, and we pant for this approval like it was important. And we go very quickly from 25 to 35 to 45 to 55 and 65, and then after a lifetime of service, we're kicked off in the ditch like a bunch of corporate roadkill. And then we look in the mirror, our kids are all gone, we never even took the chance to be free, not even once, and then we say, what have I done? What has happened to me? This 
is the one message your company does not ever want you to hear. And even if you own your own business in the traditional sense, you're having the life choked out of you, then this money tape can be your escape, too. Because if you're not free, then it's a chance for you to ask yourself some questions before a crisis hits. Because unless you're ready to mortgage your time and your family and your whole future, and maybe even lose the prospect of ever owning your own destiny, then you're in serious danger of making a bad deal with the corporate devil. Every day, millions of faithful, trusting employees are cast off into financial hell. And it's just one step away for every person who depends on somebody else to give them a paycheck. This concept of a perpetual job is nonsense. It's only for people who watch too much television and believe in the financial fairy tales of the 1950s. Do you think your tenure and faithful service mean anything? Look what happens when new ownership comes into your company. They use people like you for as long as it takes to bleed you for the information they want. And then it's hospital and vista, baby. And it's not if either, it's when. The only thing that the current crop of college graduates can say is that they're not getting laid off. And that's only because they can't find a job in the first place. One college professor told a recent graduate that he was now highly qualified to be totally useless. And the best advice he could give him was to find a job somewhere where your father is the president of the company. Well, America was founded on independence. But we've been taught that we must be dependent. We are depending on others to take care of us, but they're not going to do it. Dependence is the opposite of freedom. Even when we say we're in business for ourselves, we're even more of a captive. We open up, we lock up, regulations, penalties, forms, payroll, taxes, workman's comp, inventory, Employee problems, FICA, shipping, theft, strange hotels, out of a job when we get sick and we're unemployed if we don't make a sale and we can't read financial statements and families we never get to see. This is not the American dream, mom, dad. This is a nightmare. And the kind of people that I want to talk to are sick of spending the best years of their lives as captives of some corporation or being chained to the pressures of their own business and watching all of what might have been happen to other people while they choke down a big mouthful of financial chaff just because they got a key to the executive washroom as a perk. Meanwhile, their kids are on drugs and sex and alcohol because they only talk to them for 27 seconds a day, and it makes them so sick thinking about it, they wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat, not knowing what to do about it. I never knew you, Mom. That's what they say. Dad, I never knew you. And that is no good, Mom and Dad. Lots of men and women stay on their deathbed. Boy, I wish I spent more time with my family. But nobody ever said, I wish I spent more time at the office. This money tape is a wake-up call for everybody who's interested in freedom instead of the dungeon. And this is a message of real freedom that you can take to the bank and you can cash. You can start right now if you want to pop off those chains that have bound you up all your financial life. If you're young, you're at a disadvantage because you don't know yet what it means to be enslaved by a job that robs you of who you really are. Ask around, and the sooner the better. This is a message for whoever wants to listen about getting out of the financial ditch and having the chance of earning a hundred times more money than you ever thought you'd earn and having the chance of doing it in one-fifth the time. So when your kids or your grandkids want to go to Disney World, well, go with them. Take them. A lot of people here, and we're living in the land of opportunity. They go to bed every night dripping with sweat. They dread their creditors. They lie awake with fear and uncertainty about their financial future. There's no way to live. If you're ashamed and embarrassed about your financial life, if you've been disappointed like I have, if you've made promises to people you haven't been able to keep about special kind of life you'd like to provide, beach trips and ski trips and scrapbooks filled with lots of pictures of fun times and things you did together, instead of always scrimping and, and having to go stay with the relatives, then this money tape is for you. By the way, kids don't count that as a vacation. They call it a trip to the relatives. Are you tired of that? How old are you? Thirty? 40, 50, 60, how long are you going to tell yourself that you're just about to round the corner at your job? And I hope you do. But in the meantime, what about college? What about retirement? What about your daughter getting married? Right now, you couldn't treat 300 people to Burger King. 
I know a man, I know a family, lovely family. This man's precious daughter got married some years ago, and we got a letter in the mail one day. This letter was typed out on a typewriter, and it was folded up on a piece of Xerox paper. And this was the invitation because it was all they could afford. And this was not a pretentious family. They loved each other just the same. But it made me cry to see this invitation because I knew that it hurt not to be able to buy flowers or do those special things that you want to do for your daughter on a day like this. She's looked forward to it all of her life. Many of you know, as I do, this feeling of being bound up financially. You're not yourself. Every day is a struggle just to make it. Some of you right now are desperately trying to move from an apartment into a house so your kids are not going to be embarrassed when they bring their friends home from school. And you'd like a pool so your kids can have a nice place to spend some time instead of at the mall. Or you'd like to go on a special vacation or you want to plan for retirement or you need to take care of your elderly parents. Well, all of these things come from freedom. The freedom of knowing that you are in control of your destiny. The freedom of not having to go to work unless you want to. The freedom to allocate your time like you want to. Your boss thinks you ought to stay late and work on the weekends. Well, who cares what he thinks? What about what you think? You don't care how many people hate their jobs. You don't care how many people are getting laid off at Ford or Motorola or IBM. You just know that you don't want to be vulnerable and defenseless and put up on the rack and up on the chopping block. There's so much about time freedom and job freedom and money freedom we don't even know about because we never even knew it existed enough to miss it. But this is a chance to escape the dungeon and to get out to the life that you really want, whatever that is. And it's the truth about how to get there. If it were easy, everybody would already be there, wouldn't they? And where would the opportunity be for you? But the answer about how to get it is simple. As a matter of fact, it's so simple that anybody who wants it can get it. Your education, your breeding, your color, your social standing doesn't matter, your stature, anything else about you does not have anything to do with it because this does not depend talent or anything else that traditional success requires of you. It depends on your willingness to listen for a few minutes to the person who gave you this money tape, to listen about a money-making system, a money system and how it really works for people just like you. And as you will see, real security for you is based on the efforts of many other people who are going to benefit you in part by their work. What you have to do is to get the information we're talking about to them. Let them decide what they want to do about it. Because it's the importance of the message, not the skill of the messenger, that's important. Let me say it again. What's important is the message, not your skill as a messenger. You may not be a good talker. It won't matter. You may not look good. It won't matter. You may need some new clothes right now. It won't matter. You may not feel good about what your car looks like. Well, do what I did. Park at the end of the block and walk. It does not matter. So if you're not a sales type, then that's good because you're going to have an easier time of it than sales types who think that lengthy speeches is the way to influence somebody. Nonsense. The way to influence people is to give them information in whatever form they like. And then let the chips fall. Let them make the decision. What they do with the information is their business. You just do what you can do. And you won't have to give any lengthy speeches. You've got money tapes to do all that. And when you get through listening to the story that your host would like to tell you, you're going to know what the road looks like. You're going to know how to get on the road, how to navigate the road to get where you want to go. And you won't have to be lucky to do it doesn't matter what your personality is like. It doesn't matter what you look like. If you're just willing to listen with an open mind and then ask yourself if it makes logical sense that it would work for you, that you can move from a dependent income to an income that is totally independent, to income that lets you be free to live instead of report for duty every day get back up on the rack. I was at the grocery store last night. This dear woman was ringing up the groceries, and then she was bagging them. And she looked tired. And then she said, this is my second job. My day job is downtown as a legal secretary. But I've got a 16-year-old and a 13-year-old. One job's not enough. And she was thinking about all the things single moms think about. She's thinking about clothes and cheerleader uniforms and insurance. And I said, ma'am, excuse me, but you strike me as a very hard worker, and I'd like to offer you the chance to get the money 
and the freedom that you are so obviously looking for. I'd like to give you this money tape. Just keep it safe so you can listen to it. Then I'll call you back in a few days. I'll tell you a story. It's a story I think you're going to like. I'm a carrier pigeon. My job as a carrier pigeon is to deliver important messages like this one, like the money tape. Let me get out. My job is to distribute this message of opportunity and hope widely and in a short amount of time. Then come back and tell my story to whoever wants to listen. Now, that's how it really happens. And when you do it and you see it happening right in front of you time after time, you're going to see what you've been missing. This is what is known as split-second marketing. And this is the kind of marketing you've got time for. You don't have to give lengthy speeches to people because, number one, they won't give you the time. And number two, you can't afford to yak your head off to people who aren't interested in what you're talking about. That's why I gave my new friend a money tape. A split second, one breath. I was already there. And that's why the person who gave you this money tape gave it to you. This presentation continues on the other side of this. As America moves into the 21st century, the way business is done is changing so fast it's hard to keep up with it. And all the old traditional ways of earning money, they're disappearing, they're collapsing, or they're becoming obsolete and fast. Used to be after 40 years of service, they'd give you a gold watch. Now you get the boot. I was talking not long ago with a plastic surgeon. He said, managed care is killing me. I've been doing this for 32 years. I can't even quit. I've got a building to maintain. I'm 63 years old. I feel like I'm trapped. What's the deal? Well, here's the deal. The deal in today's economy is all about the distribution of information. It is getting information about products into the hands of the consumer so that money changes hands. This is what people are getting paid to do today. Now, yesterday, people got paid to bring their crops to market. And yesterday, people got paid to work in factories. And yesterday, people got paid to work their way up the corporate ladder, to be loyal to the corporation, to retire with a nice pension. But that was yesterday. Yesterday's over. It's finished. Take a look down the main streets of America. Tumbleweeds roll up to the doors of businesses that were in business yesterday. But it's over. Today, it's distribution, it's bulk purchasing power, and mostly speed, high-speed transfer of information so people can make decisions to buy things. They're going to buy, and they'll buy it from you, and they'll buy it from your network if you'll just get the information they need to them. Would you like people to buy things from you and your network of people who just distribute the information? The company you're going to hear about is going to take care of everything else. All you do is distribute the information, they go to your mailbox, get paid. That's how split-second fast things have gotten. The only question is, do you want to take advantage of it? Today, there is a company paying people like you and me with the dollars of today and the dollars of tomorrow to distribute information person to person. This company is going to beg you to break the financial sound barrier and break the financial speed limit so they can make a hero out of you and pay you more money than you can spend. That's why this is called the money tape. Do you need money? Do you want it? Well, this is it. Come get it. Just tell your host that you want to know how this thing works. And what you'll see is that because of split-second marketing, you are going to finally get what you've always hoped would be true for you. You've heard of this method of personal distribution by many names. First of all, you heard about it. It was called multi-level marketing. That was the first name. Then it went by network marketing. That was the second name. And now, in its most advanced, high-speed, perfected form, it is called split-second marketing. Split-second marketing has taken away all the complications out of doing business in a way that allows you, I don't care who you are, wherever you are, to earn so much money, you would put the so-called barons of industry to shame. Split-second marketing cuts out all the stocking of product, all record-keeping, all lengthy speeches, all nonsense all the other reasons that you've had for saying no through the years to an industry that was just getting its legs when you first heard about it. But this is now, and things have changed a lot. Now, people have always made good money in the split-second marketing, but a lot not like now. Now this thing is huge, like a hungry teenager at the refrigerator. It's gobbling up every industry in sight. And the reason for it is the high-speed ability of this company to distribute products like never before, and they're willing to pay you outrageous sums to get the information about their products to other people. 
And when you share with other people how they can get paid for doing the same thing, well, guess what? They're interested. They see the handwriting on the wall at work. They see the pink slips. They know that yesterday's broke and whining about it. It's not going to bring it back. It's gone. They want to move on to tomorrow. And if you want to get paid the way things are, and if you want real security, and if you want to cram the next 30 years of your earning life into maybe six or seven, and then take the next 20 years off, and if you want to still get the jump on so many other people who are still crying and hanging on to the way things used to be, then realize right now that moving products by split-second marketing is it. It's it for today. It's it for tomorrow. And the tomorrow after that, there are too many football coaches and railroad engineers and plumbers and doctors. They're all proving it. They're making $500 a month or $1,000 a month or $10,000 a month and $100,000 a month. And do you know that they're even making a million dollars a month? You know people are making that kind of money in split-second marketing, do you not? People just like you, by the way, with much less on the ball than you have, are running financial circles around their former bosses. And you can do the same thing because this is advanced information for people who are willing to act on the obvious. Most of you have heard about network marketing various times through the years, although not in this streamlined form the way it is today in split-second marketing, and you turn it down for various reasons. Some of you... In the old days, doubted that you had the sales ability you thought was necessary to be successful. Well, you're going to find out that is not an issue because of how all the information you need is so conveniently located on tape or video or printed literature or the Internet. You don't need to be a good talker. You just need to be a messenger, a messenger of information, like a carrier pigeon. That's what I am. I'm a carrier pigeon because I deliver important messages. And the secret to you getting today's dollar straight in your direction is the distribution of information. And split-second marketing is how you do that. But some of you listening to this money tape have used other excuses to turn down what is for you not only the best way, but for many of you it's the only way of earning the kind of money that will take you from wherever you are right now to wherever you want to be. Now, for some of you, you're just lazy. And that's just the way it is. And until you have some kind of a crisis, then that's probably the way it's going to stay. People have always been lazy. I hope you change, but you might not change. And if you need a financial change in your life, but you can't tear yourself away from Monday night football to do anything about it or the soaps, if you'd be unwilling to work to get a real reward, then that's it. But most of you aren't lazy. You get up in the morning while it's still dark. You work long hours. You come home at night when it's dark. But some of you are too dignified for your own good. You don't want your relatives. You don't want your neighbors or your friends or your coworkers thinking that you need extra money or you're not doing very well at your regular job or you can't do anything else or you're unemployed. Well, let me tell you something. When those people start paying off your mortgage and start setting up college scholarship funds for your kids, then you can start worrying about what they think. They don't care what you're doing. And so what if they do? That's why it doesn't do any good to tell your relatives about your problems. Ninety-five percent of them don't care. The other five percent are glad. Some of you are professionals. And you feel like you have a certain image you need to uphold. That's baloney. This is American enterprise we're talking about. If you make $150 an hour as a professional, but you want more, then split-second marketing is the way to get it, to move from $150 an hour to $1,500 an hour. And if image is what you want, then you can buy a lot of image for $1,500 an hour. You might be a banker or a lawyer or a CPA, but I'll tell you a secret. When you're bailing it in split-second marketing and you've got all those credit cards paid off or those student loans paid down and you're offering your spouse somewhere where it's nice in the wintertime, then this split-second marketing thing is going to start looking pretty good to you. Honey, should we go to the, go home today, or, or should we stay here at the beach for a few more days? Well, let's stay a while. Okay. People, freedom has a very nice ring to it, and if you don't have it like you'd like to have it, then I'm telling you, you're close to getting it. Others of you, you're just going to have to reconcile yourself to the fact that you've always said no because you don't want to risk failing. Who does? You don't want to risk failing, especially in public, in front of all your friends, it's more comfortable, stay where you are, in the safety of poverty or bondage than it is to venture out and not have things maybe work out the way you hoped they would. It's not a judgment, it's just a fact. Again, what difference does it make? The clock is ticking for you, for me, and for everybody else. And besides, America was built by people who were willing to take risks, and I hope you're one of them. The good news about getting involved in split-second marketing is that it is so predictable. You're not going to have to be lucky to actually earn the extra income that you want. And here's why. When you distribute information to people by split-second marketing, by giving this money tape or a money book or money letter to somebody, you don't have any turndowns. 
You're just minding your own business, walking down the beach, waving your Geiger counter around nice and friendly like, finding out who wants to hear more. You don't care where the Rolex watch is buried. You're just listening for your Geiger counter to go off. You've got a message of unbelievable opportunity, and this money tech, for example, is going to help you tell it. People you give it to either want to hear more or they don't. It's simple. You stick somebody, they bleed or they don't bleed. If they do, then you can help them. And if they don't, well, you found it out without going into any lengthy speeches. Just imagine all the people that you know and meet and see and hear about, and what you do, you just dispense this money tape like popcorn. You find out who wants to listen to your story. That's split-second marketing. Not tricky. It's just distribution. And to as many people as you want to give the chance to join your financial army. And it's the army of yours that's going to put you on the beach. Now, when you have a plan that works, and I mean really works, and you know that it works, you become unstoppable in a hurry. You're going to be on fire, and people will come and watch you burn. When my kids were little, we always had some kind of a money-raising project during the holidays so they could learn at an early age about making a living. Various times we would sell the different products, cookies. They sold Christmas chains, Rubik's Cubes. But the best idea of all was when they went door-to-door -door one day with their little red wagon full of fresh roasted peanuts New Year's Day when everybody was watching the football games. And they sold every bag every bag, and they had lots of bags. They took in so much cash, their friends thought they'd won the lottery. And this was before they even had a lottery. But it was not only what they did, but how they did it. Just like how you are going to do split-second marketing makes all the difference in your success and in the difference between being lucky and being predictable. Nobody can get excited if they work hard, but they have to get lucky to get paid. That's what's kept a lot of you out of this deal before. You thought you'd work real hard, but you wouldn't get paid very much. Things have changed a lot because of how ground can be covered with split-second marketing. Now, for most of you listening to this money tape, if you felt your work in split-second marketing would pay off and could be predictable, then you'd want to do it. And that's why so many of you are doing it. So here's what we did with the peanuts. We went downtown to the wholesale nut place, and we bought two big 50-pound bags of freshly roasted Virginia peanuts. I don't know if Virginia peanuts were any better than any other kind of peanuts, but it sounded good when the guy said that they brought them all the way in from Virginia. Anyway, we watched while they roasted these peanuts in great big industrial roasters, and they smelled good, and my two little girls, they weren't sure exactly what was going on, but so far they could figure out this is a pretty good little field trip. And we were all laughing about how good these peanuts were and how nobody could resist anything this good. And we hauled those peanuts home, and we dumped them into a big plastic trash can, and then we bagged them up into little lunch bags, and we stapled them up at the top, and then they loaded all these bags into their little red wagon with the wooden slats on the side, and they were ready to go out and face the prospects on our block and do some serious peanut selling and money collecting. But we had a problem, and it's the same problem a lot of you have had in the past about this network marketing thing. You don't think you're a very good talker. You don't think you're a salesperson. Well, listen, my daughters were only five and three. They, weren't gonna, they were not about to get involved in any, any kind of a lengthy speeches either trying to sell these peanuts. So we solved them by writing everything down so they wouldn't have to say anything. And this is a lot like split-second marketing is for you. Everything is down on tape, on video, on literature, paper, on the Internet. You just have to distribute the information to see who wants what. Now, we made a little sign. Hope, who was three, held up the sign which said, We are earning money for Christmas. Would you like to buy a bag of fresh-roasted, Virginia peanuts for one dollar. Amy was five. She held up the bag of peanuts, including a free sample. No yakking. The people who wanted them took them. That was most of them. And all my little girls did was make sure that as many people as possible got the chance to get some. And just about everybody bought. Hope even had it on the reverse side of her sign. In case somebody said no, how about 75 cents? Well, she never had to turn around. She never had to use it. Now, this was a good idea, selling peanuts on New Year's Day, and they sold every bag of them. And it's fun when you're rolling in it and every, everybody's laughing and you got an idea that's working. But you can't sell peanuts. You can't carry a sign around your office all day. But what you can do is give a lot of people the chance to say yes or no about taking advantage of a very special opportunity. And all you have to do is give this money take to people that you know and people you see around, people you meet, people you hear about. Then you have a story to tell people who are interested in hearing it. 
That's how you build a financial family. That's how you keep warm and pay off your bills and send your kids to college and retire. It's going to let you stay home with your kids instead of having to work a second job, Mom, and it'll take care of you when you get too tired to work or you just don't want to work. And the people who would like to hear this message from you are everywhere. But you can't tell by looking at them. You can't read their minds. You can tell, though, by giving that person a copy of this money tape and then see if they want to hear about your story. That's what split-second marketing is all about, giving people a chance to say yes or no about what could be for them a life-changing opportunity, telling your story, showing them how to do the same thing, nothing fancy, and this money tape's going to help you do it. It's going to speak for you. And unless people know why they're doing something and how it's possible to succeed at it, then they're going to have very little tolerance to hear you out on what it is. By the way, you're going to like split-second marketing a lot because it doesn't take any time out of your day. You're already there. You say to someone you know, I'd like to give you this money tape. Really? That's my favorite subject. Well, that's good because when you get done, I'm going to tell you another little story about money that you're going to like even better. The person who gave you this money tape is probably a friend, a relative, a neighbor, a coworker, maybe somebody you just met. And when you talk again, this person has an interesting story to tell you about a special company that wants to pay you all the way to whatever the highest level of freedom is you want. They're going to fill you in on all the details about how you're going to get paid and why the timing is so good and about a plan that makes it all work. And when you hear it, you might say, well, I didn't know that. And you might say, this is for me.